messages so for those who have been with me for the past two weeks i think it has taken me about two weeks since i started making this uh, order i had to pause it a bit because i just couldn't find the right lining for um, this particular color but i later on found a good lining and i posted a short video on my channel about it yesterday I was able to place it very well and uh, I'm going to just show you in a bit right now what I'm doing is extending the length of the dress because I hadn't hit the client's requirements when it came to the length of the dress I remember she wanted 96 um, centimeters so I think I'm currently at around 95 and I think this will be my very last round uh, to elongate the to elongate the length of the dress to my client's required length. The other thing that I had to put into consideration was um, the fact that the dress is going to stretch out horizontally. Uh, that means that compromises the length of the dress vertically so i had to make sure i give her exactly what she wants and now i'm going to show you um the lining that i've attached i've used hand sewing because i literally can't tailor at all i have the machine but i haven't yet taken some classes to make me perfect so i just couldn't risk it because this is someone's order so I'd rather go for the approach that I know best uh, than gamble around with the machine and I don't even know what I'm doing. So this is all hand sewn. You guys see the back of this dress. I made sure I get the best lining, the best color. I think this matches very well. And even when you stretch it out, as you can see here, we don't see anything on the inside. So the client had also told me that she wanted padding breast padding for that but i think i'm going to talk her out of it because i don't know how to do that on a flat gamut so i think i'm going to talk to her and i let her know that if she wants a padding on the inside then she will have to do it herself when she's dressing up maybe just place them around here i don't want to gamble with this dress any more than i already have because at this point, I think if I go any further than this, I'm going to just mess it up. So, um, just a few a few more things that I wanted to talk about. Um, this week has been a little busy. I've released about I've released two tutorials so far, and I've been writing down patterns for those tutorials. So, I hope you guys have checked out the pickable shorts and the matching top this outfit is so beautiful thank you so much so i released a tutorial on my channel for a matching set shorts and a top and i don't know whether to even record an updated version because i had to update the written pattern of the of this design the dress design uh, to get a better fitting, especially for the larger sizes. The first approach wasn't really favorable for the uh, larger sizes. It was good for maybe extra small to small to medium-ish. But once you crossed from medium to large, um, that approach wasn't really applicable. Because by the time um, someone gets their hip measurement, the lower part is already down below the butt so sometimes uh, most people were giving me feedback about the fitting of the dress and it wasn't working for them so the written pattern has an update an update to it and i think i've already uploaded it on all the platforms on website on etsy on Ravelry, on coffee so you can find the updated version of this pattern there that can favor all sizes. Actually, the second approach that I explained favors from size extra small. You can choose to use this approach because it's the one that I used here for this dress. And I think I'm getting a much better fitting than the first approach. 
remember i made this design about a year back it's already past one year it's about a year and three months uh, now if we get an update to the design then that's a good thing so i'm working on my very last round i don't think i'm going to go any further than this i'm really tired of this repetition because we are doing the same exact stitches again and again and this is how long the dress is at the moment you guys see this from all the way from here all the way up up to here this is the back side and now i have to also figure out how to get the waistline cinched in because remember i used hand sewing and uh, of course you have to consider a few things uh, when you're working with the sewing machine on crochet remember these are stitches and um, the design that I'm working with has holes as you can see here so when you use the machine chances are very high that when you're sewing maybe the lining onto when you're sewing the lining onto the crochet garment the needle may step into the space and not even make a stitch there so that's why i've gone for hand sewn lining so yes i think i'm going to take a tailoring course it's a must it's something that i need for myself to just feel the satisfaction and the happiness so if you guys have any questions about this you can ask let me just finish up this very last round with you guys and Did you show how to add the lining? No, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I think I'll have to make a detailed video because there's so many things to consider when you're adding a lining. What type of lining did you use? I used, I don't know even the tapes. That's how much uh, I'm not a tailor at all but all i made sure that i do was to get a stretchy lining so let me get it here and i show you guys. this is the material that i used for the lining this one and it matches my color very well i didn't want a contrasting color on the inside of the stitches so this is the lining that i got and if you stretch you can see it stretches out and i made sure that when I was attaching the lining I got um, a thinner fabric so that it can hug the body so I reduced it by around two inches ish I think that's what I considered so that it can stretch and hug the body and so that also it doesn't move around when someone is walking I think I need to consider that as well. This round is taking forever. Let me just speed through it. So I got a lot of excess lining for this uh, dress and I think I'm going to make something else using the lining and the remaining yarn. This one, I think I'm going to do something out of it and then line it. Then from there you apply the same exact knowledge to, to this project if you wish. Because this I did last night and I was off camera. How do you crochet so fast? Um, 
this is just my normal speed i don't think i'm very fast compared to people who hold their hooks like this people who hold the hooks like this are really really quick it's like they're doing their thing without even minding at all and i feel like this approach is a little bit slower than those guys so let me know how you handle your hook is it the knife way or the pen the pen is this one that is very fast for most people and then this is the knife the one that i use so i think this is it for For the dress for the length of the dress and when we go to the upper bit this is what the lining looks like uh, i do the pen but i'm not as fast uh, i think you need to practice a little more because most of the people who handle their hooks like that are way too fast i think those who have been doing this for a while eventually grab the the speed pick up speed and uh they become very fast with time so this is the lining and i don't know where i placed my darning needle okay here it is so i have to consider a few things this strap has to go through the corners of the butterfly top I don't know if this can even go through the Okay. Okay, I hope I left enough space at the corners when I was stitching everything together. So I made sure I leave a hole, but I don't know if this will pass through. I just hope I don't break my darning needle because it's plastic okay this is good and i'm going to do the same thing on this side what time is it there let me see it's let me see 2 30 right now what time is it in your country it's 2 30 and i've just started working today most of the work was done in the night um, i had a lot of energy yesterday and i decided to work on this order placing the lining into it so today i don't think i'm going to do much i'm just finalizing doing the final touches on the dress so All right, so when you're attaching your lining, you have to consider a few things. Make sure um, the space where these straps are supposed to pass are left behind. It's 7.30 in the US. Wow. Yes, I know people in the US have just woken up. It's morning hours. But here it's already afternoon. I'm even thinking of leaving my office right now. I think this is enough for that day. All right, so I think the upper section is catered for. I don't think I have any problem there. Uh, now I have to cater for this sizing here. The one in the waist. And I have to get an adjustable drawstring. So I don't know if I should do two strings that meet in the middle. I think that would be the best approach. Okay. I usually don't like a plain chain 
for my straps that's why i go for this approach i have a detailed video on my channel of how i make these straps i'll be linking it on top of the screen I don't know how long this is going to be, but uh, my client told me that she didn't want a plain chain and she wants something attached to the ends of the straps. So I think I'll have to apply that to all the straps of this dress. Maybe I can attach some tassels. I don't know if I'm going to be with any yarn left because this is the only yarn I'm left with in this color and uh, the person who sold it to me told me it was literally done they only had five balls that i bought and now if i don't use it well i won't have any excess good evening 9 pm from australia wow uh thank you so much seven thirty in the u.s uh how long does it take you to make the dress Actually, the dress didn't take me so long. The dress took me around, I think, one day or two. I've just been adding a few rows. So those rows could have been done within that day. But I just got lazy to go continue with the project. I felt like I had overworked on it. So I had to put it down and work on some other projects, like the tutorials that you've been receiving. And then... I come back to it, but it took me about a day or two to make the dress. So two days could be enough for me to make this dress up to the end. But I usually give myself about three weeks to work on custom orders so that I don't end up overwhelmed by the pressure. Because, of course, when you tell the client that the piece can be done in two days, um, she'll end up making an order three days prior to the event. So that is too much pressure on you as a person. Okay, let me see. One, two, three, four. These are 30 segments. I think I'm going to do a total of 35. Okay, this is done. And I'm going to do the same exact process for the opposite side. So I want these straps to meet in the middle of the back side of the dress. That's why I am making two so that I can pass them through the upper edge of the dress. 
and they meet at this point in the exact middle of the dress then we can tie a knot so yeah I think 35 is a very big number of segments for this strap but I don't know if it's too long I'll undo some segments so that maybe I can go down to 25 I don't know yet I want two three four five six seven eight nine ten Thirty three, thirty four, and thirty five. All right, so, um, of course, I'm going to use my dunning needle to put the strap through the upper edge of the skirt portion of the dress. So I'm going in and out of different rows. Just trying to make sure I evenly space this. Okay, I think I have to do one at a time because this is very frustrating. If you feel like uh, your strand is not moving smoothly, please remove it and go into another space because you need this space to move around freely so that the drawstring is adjustable. So if you feel like you're not getting that, you can always remove it and then place it where it can freely move around like that. until the exact middle of the dress. Good morning, Annie. If you just place it where it can move comfortably well without any struggle, because at the end of the day, you need this to be adjustable according to um, the client's waist measurement. So if it's not moving freely, actually I've passed the exact middle of the skirt. So I have to remove this and this. Okay. 
Okay, so from there, remove your darning needle and So I don't know why, but I usually come on here to just give you an update and then it ends up being some sort of tutorial or something more insightful than what I thought. Um, maybe I'm just so into teaching. Like uh, vlogging doesn't come naturally for me, but when I'm teaching something, it's very easy for me to just keep talking and give knowledge about what I know or about what I did. Sorry. Okay. And make sure when you're attaching your lining, you don't attach it on the upper edge of the crochet piece. Otherwise, you won't be able to put through this drawstring. Okay. So when you're almost at that point, in the middle of the dress, then you're going to just remove your darning needle. Make sure you're careful not to break it. And this is what we have. Um, I'll finish up the inside of the dress later on. But for now, we can tie this all the way up the level of our waist area or the lower back. So this will be determined by the client wears the dress and then this is the lining it goes all the way down as you can see it goes all the way down to not the feet but at least mid thigh so i measured about 20 inches for my lining the skirt lining the skirt portion of the lining and that's basically it i'll show you guys the finished piece on my socials make sure you follow me there and thanks for hanging out with me today. Bye. Have a good day.